Okay, so the electronic drummers and the drum machine designer, both new in Logic 10.1. This is a tutorial for both. In the second part, we'll be looking at the drum machine designer, and there's a lot to look at there. How it works, how to build your own custom kits, how to edit the smart controls, and lots more besides. But we're going to begin by looking at the actual electronic drummers and the pattern editor for the electronic drummers, because this is pretty deep actually and beginners might not quite understand how this all works plus there's a whole bunch of techniques we can do for example i've got three electronic drummers stacked here we can now have multiple drummer tracks so i've got three electronic drummers stacked one doing the kick and claps one doing a snare pattern and another one doing a shakers and hats pattern the combination of those three electronic drummers gives me a beat i can't possibly get from one drummer alone Yeah, and then I'm layering a simple Ultrabeat Open 909 hat over the three drummers to complete the beat. So there's all sorts of techniques we can do, as well as understanding how this editor works. Okay, so let's get into this first. All right. I'm going to start with a new project. And I'm going to create a drummer track. I can choose the genre as I create the track, so I'll choose one of the new genres, Electronic. Create. Boom. And a drummer track is created, and like every time you create a drummer track, two eight bar regions of drumming are put on the track. I'll get rid of the second one. Put a cycle range around that. Let's tidy up a bit. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on this work area. Okay, now if you're completely new to this and you don't understand, this is a drumming region, this is the pattern. Okay. The big triangles are the loud drums, kicks, snares, etc. And the little row of small triangles in the middle is the high-end stuff, shakers, hats, tambourines. But if you zoom in on a drummer track vertically a bit more, the two rows separate. This is your high-end stuff, these are your loud drums. Okay, So we've got these new drummers. We've got a new genre, electronic, with five electronic drummers in. A new genre, hip-hop, with three drummers in. And in the old alternative category, there are two new electronic drummers, Maya and Duncan. So I'll choose Electronic Julian. OK, now, every electronic drummer has two default kits. But just like with the acoustic drummers, any electronic drummer can play any kit you like. OK? When you choose the drummer, it's about the patterns the drummer makes. OK, now here's the editor. We've still got the presets down the left here. Every drummer has a selection of factory presets. Yeah. And you can load these up and use them as, as is, or you can load them up and use them as a starting point to edit a custom pattern from. And all your custom patterns can be saved into this preset list. You just do Save Preset, a new slot appears at the bottom ready to be titled, you give your beat a title, enter on the keyboard, boom, you've added a custom beat. So you can build up an enormous collection of custom beats for each drummer that you use. Okay, And these custom beats can be loaded any time as these drummer regions, but also, they can be loaded as these drummer regions and then converted to MIDI regions to be put onto a software instrument track, triggering any software drums you like. Or they can be put uh, converted to MIDI regions and put onto an external MIDI track to trigger external hardware. Okay. The other thing to note is, as you build up this big collection of custom patterns, yes, they can be complete beats, but when you get into stacking drummers, well, you've got multiple drummers, one doing the kick, another doing a clap or snare, another doing high-end stuff, another doing percussion. You may find it useful to build up collections of kick patterns, snare patterns, shaker and hat patterns, etc. to be quickly loaded onto those stacked drummer tracks. Right. Now here's the editor. and The kit is organised into three layers. The base layer, kick, snare, claps. Any combination of those can be active and you choose the pattern for that layer. Then the high-end layer, hats, shakers, cymbal, sometimes this is a tambourine, depending on the drummer. Any combination of these can be active, and you choose the pattern for the high-end layer to go with the pattern you've chosen for the bass layer. And then at the top is your percussion and effects layer. Some drummers have one percussion choice, others have two or three. Any combination of them can be active, and you choose the pattern for the percussion layer, to go with the pattern you've chosen for the high layer and the bass layer. And of course, any layer can be completely inoperative. So you choose the drums you want active in the layers and which pattern each layer plays, and then the matrix ball here allows you to make the beat loud or quiet, complex, very busy, or simple, 
where hardly any notes are playing in the patterns. And any variation on that. So you could have loud and complex, or very quiet and complex, or loud and very simple, or quiet and very simple. Okay, Anything you want. So if I put the ball there, my beat is 75% complex and 75% loud. Okay. Now we've still got the fills control here, which puts fills into the pattern. Um, we'll come to that in a bit. There's a few things to look at there. We've still got the swing control, 8th or 16th swing at whatever percentage you like. But the main change with the electronic drummers editor compared to the acoustic drummers editor is here in the details. The electronic drummers have this complexity range slider section, and this is very, very clever. This allows us to restrict the complexity of any individual drum to a particular complexity range. And this vastly changes the amount of different beats we can get from the combinations of active drums and the patterns for their layers. Okay. Further, we've got this phrase variation, which introduces variations on the patterns the drums are playing at whatever complexity they're playing at. All right. And then we've got Humanize here, and as you push this up more and more, some of the drums have just fractionally moved a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more off their beat to add human feel. And finally we've got this Auto Half Time, which does what it says on the tin. Tick it and it half times the beat. Okay, so let's check out how it all works. <laughs> 